So I've had a good day in Newcastle today. And I've learned quite a lot about the culture of the city. It's a very multicultural place. All types of people. Rich, poor. All walks of life. But what I do notice, and I've tried to keep the camera off them because of their dignity, is there's a lot of people in shop doorways begging for something to eat. Now come on, we're such a rich country with all these corporate businesses around that could help instead of sucking money out of the area. Let's start helping them. This is what it's all about, getting out and about. You see things that you don't normally see. Right, right. So it gets us about on the. Um, Do you mind me filming you? No, no. No, no. Tell me a bit about yourself. What's your name? Mark Smith. Mark Smith? Yeah. Pleased to meet you, Mark. I'm Colin Dodds. There are. <laughs> so I've got my own video channel. And I like to discuss social issues with people and put it on my, my vlog. Tell me how you got here. Um, well, I've been. Well, when, since we flat call fire, um, it's, it's like, it was accidentally, um, but, like, when that happened, we didn't want to, like, houses, in case, in case it turned out to be, like, a pyromania. Right. So... But even if somebody is a pyromania, they still need a roof over their head. Yeah. yeah. You know? But I could kind of like, I could understand like the, the reasoning why we didn't like want to put us just say like in a block of flats or something in, in like... So is that the council? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, your home's Newcastle um, had like a pilot scheme. Right. And they offered us like a, um, like a place on the pilot scheme, which was, which was great. When, when when I had the support, but when they pulled the support back, I was kind of like left with, like, like sh slowly one by one, I, I was kind of was, was losing workers and nobody was getting like up in their place, sort of thing. Right, right, right. And I was like, I kind of like found myself like, like really struggling after then in kind of like, I went to, uh, I went to like um, from a court for um, uh, support. That's like a that's like a drug and alcohol like a, um, right, right. like a drug and alcohol kind of rehab rehab place. Um, so in, I went and spoke to this work. I called Liz uh, and I says, "Listen, Liz, I says I haven't I haven't seen the work." I, over three and a half months. I see the last time was kind of my fault. I see I did miss the appointment I went for. I was I was stood there for like about an hour outside and then the says um, can you come back like after three? And I was like and I just I didn't go back and then like since then I've kind of like um, I just kind of like found myself stuck. And, I've just kind of been in a rut since. What do you want, Mark? What do you want? What's your ultimate goal? What do you want out of life? I don't want a lot, actually. Um, I mean, I, ju I just want to have, like, my own, my own place. And I just want to be happy, really. It's not a lot to ask, is it? No, no. It's everybody's basic human right. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. I definitely. So, you don't mind me asking? Have you had drug and alcohol issues in the past? Yeah, I have. So, uh, but, and did that lead you to mental health issues? Um, I kind of had, I kind of had the mental health problems beforehand. In like, um, I seen this, I seen this, um, this psychiatrist, and he was called Professor Green. And um, I had to, I 
Ahadakum. Ahadakum. So you're not a rapper? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> A few people have said that. A few people have said that. Um, and, uh, I know found myself like um, so, and he says that I had to like I had to come off everything and be like clean of everything uh -huh. for at least twelve months before you could diagnose us. Right, of course I. And then he took away two words, drug induced. Right, right. Like drug induced. Them two words. Uh huh. Like, it would come across as like self, self. -inflated. Of course, I, I, I. Mean. I, I. So you're from Newcastle, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Born and bred. Well, I was born in Wales. Wales. Yeah, amen. That was like on my dad's side. Right, and, like, right. My mum, my mum's from like Newcastle. Right, and, right. Like, um, so I came up here when I was like pretty young, you know what I mean? I Aye. was about five or six or something. Have you got family? Yeah, yeah. Aye. I've got family, I've got family. I've lost a lot of family over the years, like in. Um, sure. As, 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 of course, as I. Everyone does, you know what I mean? Aye, that's it. You try and prepare yourself for like, for like, well, nothing can. Nothing can really like prepare you for like when you lose a loved one. Um, and I was in like I was in a relationship, and um, I was with this last for seven years, and um, we were engaged and all that. And then she fell pregnant while I've been inside, obviously with another man's with another man's baby. Right, and then, right. And then, like, that happened, That's pretty heavy duty, like, isn't it? Uh, of yeah. course it is, aye. And, um, and like, how, how it's all is in that, it was kind of like, it was just fucking shocking, man. Shocking. Um, aye. I can see I can see that, like. Yeah. So where do you sleep, Mark? Um, in the minute. Is there a shelter? Is there a... In the minute, I've just kind of, like, been sofa surfing. And right, that. right. And, like, here, there, and everywhere. And, um, but like as it's getting colder, like I'm gonna have to get somewhere like more permanent, you know what I mean? Aye, absolutely, aye, aye. Yeah. So your family are they from Newcastle, Mark? Do you have family in Newcastle? My mum doesn't live in um my mum doesn't live in Newcastle. Um You don't mind me asking these questions, do you? No no no. no, no. no, no. Um My mum kinda like lives up the road a bit. Right, and, right. Um, when you see up the road? As in Scotland? No. No, no, no. not that far. Not that far. <laughs> not that far but, um, aye, aye. 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 She's a little bit away. But, um, right, right. Obviously, she's with me, stepdad, and like, um, then we've been together for. Must be about 28 years, you know. Wow, well, that's something yeah, else, eh? Yeah. That's pretty good for this time there. Yeah, isn't it? Aye, aye. aye. Definitely. Mark, I'm going to leave you here, right? But right here, there's 20 notes. Oh, bless you. Thank and you, you do whatever you want with it, do you know what I mean? Get smashed, get whatever you want, like, you know what I mean? Because I, I can't comprehend oh, where you are in your life, like, you know what I mean? But I, I no, no, Mark, peace be with you. You know, there's that much money here. The great shit that is that these people have been let down, fell through a safety net kind of still. The guys that house burnt down, they wouldn't give him another one because he was a pyromaniac. And I hate to say it, but even pyromaniacs need something to say. Another lost soul. Anyway. This is what happens when you get out and about. You meet people 